Hey cats, Ed Bargain Hunter Bud here. It's time for the running shoe bargains that I found for September 2021. Welcome coin counters and outsole savers. Let's take a wander through some of the running shoe bargains that I found recently. Before we get into those, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and also click the bell below for notifications so you know when new videos have been launched. And it helps the channel out a huge amount if you give this video a thumbs up like. Dankeschön. Kicking off with Start Fitness with one of my shoes of 2021. They've got an offer on a range of sizes in the Under Armour Flow Velocity Wind. I think it's in green and red as well. I think the red version's around 89 Earth credits and the green version about 99. I think 41 pounds off retail for this shoe is a winning deal. It's like picking up Ronaldo for a wham bar and a packet of Monster Munch. Really great lightweight shoe this one and a tremendous upper. I would consider a half size up though guys. It is a slightly more snug fit. That's about 21% off the retail price. So a good fifth, I think that's a, a fantastic deal. Not my cup of tea in fairness, but lots of runners out there really do love the endorphin shift from Saucony. Again, at Start Fitness, this one is discounted to under a hundred pounds. In the blue and black colorway, I think there's a couple of others as well. Although sizing is a bit of an issue there, they've only got a few left. The Max Cushion Daily Shoe of the Endorphin line is worth checking out if you need something with a higher stack, perhaps for those joints and muscles. Quite a few seasoned runners have got hold of me and said that the endorphin shift really works for them. They just want that extra cushion on a more daily basis, so it could be worth a shot. I think in that blue and black colorway, almost all men's sizes are available, so you know what to do. Start Fitness also have a couple of different colorways of the Reebok Forever Float Ride Energy 2. In a few sizes, they have it for only 49 Earth Credits UK. I think the more rigid upper on the Float Ride Energy 2 was favoured by a few runners. The blue and grey versions are available on Start Fitness right now. Makes for a super value, versatile shoe at 35% off the retail. Another winner was the Reebok Run Fast 2. Not the Run Fast 3, that was rubbish. The black version of this P-Back Space midsole shoe has an ace outsole grip and a nice simple upper. At 65 earth credits in almost all sizes, it's certainly worth considering. Give it a whirl if you perhaps like a lower stacked option. Don't want this gluttonous midsole stack that we seem to see on all shoes. Seems to be a bit of a trend right now. Nice and lightweight and a really durable outsole on these. 8mm drop as well, so it's a little bit more aggressive than some of the other stuff you'll find. A real hidden gem this one especially when you consider some of the other overhyped models released recently. Over at Nike, not many sale deals at the moment really, but I did find one that was quite cool. They've discounted this Pegasus 37 Kipchoge edition down to 74 Earth credits. Bit of a surprise to see this shoe discounted, I have to be honest. I think it looks kind of cool. I think people might want to pick it up as well as a bit of a collector's item because it's associated with Kipchoge. They say it's only 24 mil of heel stack in the Peg 37, but I always thought it was more than that. Air Zoom and React combined for a nice underfoot feel. I didn't really like the 37 all that much, but that was mainly due to the upper. It worked really well for loads of other people. And remember, I'm only one man with a cat. I always find the Pegasus surprisingly versatile in terms of the outsole. You can use it on road or some light trails. Worth a shout though, they only have sizes 10.5 up to a size 14. So if you have small feet, you're out of luck. Over at Reebok's website, they still have two versions of the Energy 3 available at a bonkers discount. I'm glad to see Reebok are back in the game with the discounts. If you enter school as the code, you get 30% off. I think the Blue Slate and Vector Navy, along with the Cloud White and Core Black, are available in almost all sizes as of the making of this video. Those pairs can be grabbed for £52.50, which is nuts, really. Makes for a tremendous bargain if you're looking for a shoe for daily runs. The same deal can be had on the ladies version of the shoe. Looks quite awesome, actually, this orange with cloud white. And I think the Vector Navy and Teal variant is also available on that deal in the women's sizes. A huge range, in fact, in the latter there, uh, from a two and a half up through to about an eight and a half. You know what to do, people. Sports shoes have a few sizes left of the fantastic SL20 Summer Ready version. It's like a white on white version, this one. So yeah, it's gonna get pounded during the winter, but hey, it's a shoe, that's what it does. They've discounted this one to half of the retail, so it's down to 49 Earth credits. Beat that. 
MC Hammer would perhaps say you can't touch this. I found the SL20 Summer Ready to be super breathable, so yeah, if you are picking it up for autumn running, you might want a thicker sock. Do be careful on sizing as well. Some people reckon that they had to go a half size or even a full size up, but a half was fine for me. I guess it's the closest thing you can probably pick up to the Adios 6. There's a lot of DNA from the SL20 in that shoe. Great grip and not a bad 5K racing option in fairness. If you like those lower stacks, the SL20 is for you. I found the Socony Axon is already highly discounted. It only came out a little while ago, didn't it? Not a shoe I've tried, but if you want to give it a whirl, 70 Earth credits. It's like a fluorescent yellow marker colour. It will certainly stand out. We got Power Run here in the midsole rather than the Plus version or the PB one that you see in the Endorphin line. Sounds like a bit of a rocker type midsole shape here, though everyone reports a much firmer material. So yeah, if you don't like all that squashy cushion, could be worth a shot. Maybe a more budget approximation of what you get in the Endorphin Speed. Start Fitness again have another winning deal. They've got the women's version of the Endorphin Speed available in a few sizes for just over a hundred pounds. Sadly though, you're going to have to be a four and a half, a five and a half, a seven or a seven and a half. If so, you're in luck. I mean, that's a good 33% off, probably the best shoe out last year. And I'd suggest probably still one of the best shoes now for the price anyway. It's just so versatile. We can use it for practically anything. I wouldn't run up a muddy hill in it or something like that, but I think it's hard to beat really in fairness at that price. The last one up for today, guys, on this whistle stop tour of discount shoe bargains. You know, I've been recently enjoying the Rincon 3 from Hoka Onione. A light, carefree shoe with a big slab of cushion underfoot. Just quite a bit more forgiving, I find, than the Clifton series or even that Mac 4 as well. Discount hunters can grab a load of different colorways of the Rincon 2, which I believe has a very similar midsole over at sportshoes.com. They've reduced those down by about 30% to 73 Earth credits. A good daily shoe, perhaps one for the times when you just want a feather underfoot rather than a clog. Have you spotted any good shoe bargains recently that I may have missed, guys? I have deliberately left off the Puma ones at the moment because the internet's just awash with Puma discounts. If you know of any good shoe bargains, let the runners know by commenting below. A quick musical interlude for you. Quite a lot of people know of the group De La Soul, right? They produced some fantastic hip-hop albums in the early 90s. Sadly, a lot of their back catalogue's been unavailable recently due to some sort of legal dispute. But I did read a news story suggesting that their fantastic album Three Feet High and Rising may soon be hitting some of the streaming services. There's probably a whole generation of people out there that haven't heard it because it was unavailable. Couldn't even buy it on vinyl at one point. Soon people will be able to check out The Magic Number, Me, Myself and I, and Potholes in My Law as well. Some fantastic tunes, brilliant breakbeats, thoughtful production, and a lot of humour in there as well on this album. There's loads of little intermissions between the tracks. It's a bit like a game show, I suppose. If you're able to go and check this one out now, then I suggest you do so. De La Soul with three feet high and rising. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of today's video, guys. Always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when we launch those new videos for you. It really helps the channel out if you give this video a thumbs up like, but also share the video with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.